Hi, my name is Jake Younger and I'm here at the grocery store. It's no secret that there's a lot of plastic here and about half of it is not really recyclable. So I'm here to show you what can and cannot be recycled. Baby food. This baby food and this um, sort of like flexible crinkly wrap packaging is not recyclable. It is um, just should just go into the trash once it's finished. However, baby food that's in the glass jars is recyclable since it's glass. Although some recycling plants do not take glass. This produce bag. These these produce bags are not recyclable. They are almost as bad as the plastic shopping bags. They gum up machines and make it really hard and expensive to get, get the recycling process back. Recycle it at the grocery store where there's specific bins for recycling the shopping bags. So, so yogurt containers. It really depends on your recycling plant. Sometimes it's yes if you clean them out. Though. You have to clean them out if you and you have to make sure that your plant accepts them. So typically on the bottom of these plastic containers is a number with the three arrows, with the triangle of three arrows surrounding it. Now, it really just means the type of plastic is being used to create it. It doesn't mean it's recyclable. Now, the most common types of recyclable plastic are ones and twos. So ones are typically soft plastic like these ones and uh, this. Well, it's recyclable though. No, not all ones are recyclable. Clamshell packages, which is you can identify by the clamshell looking features, is not recyclable because of how crinkly it is. It is more equated to a uh, shopping bag. So, you can hear this crinkle, and that's a very good sign that it is not recyclable. It should be put in the trash. So, typically try not to buy these types of vegetables wrapped in this stuff because you cannot recycle this plastic wrap. You can recycle the cardboard bottom though. This is very frankly plastic so it isn't recyclable. So, this, for these two things, they are the same product but in different types of packaging. This one is better for the environment and um, thing is recyclable. Meanwhile, this one is worse for the environment. It has this blister packaging which is not recyclable and the uh, pod things which are also not recyclable. Same with this one. This one is recyclable. Show it's me what it is. A two type plastic. What what product are you showing and me? It's tied detergent. Meanwhile, this one is not recyclable because of its crinkly plastic and the pods itself are not recyclable. Now let's look at mouth. So, for instance, this floss is the box for it is recyclable and it's better for the environment because of it's just the string. Meanwhile, this it has the plastic and a little bit of the string, which is bad for the environment because this listen, it's crinkly and the plastic shells themselves are not recyclable. And same with these toothbrushes. Now, the toothbrushes themselves are not recyclable. And same with the plastic package, it is not recyclable. Can you do like a few? Okay. <laughs> Finally. Finally, let's look at some disposable plates. Now, these plastic plates, or paper plates, sorry, are, are recyclable because they are paper. However, these styrofoam plates are not. The styrofoam is very light and is thus not profitable to recycle. And they just are recycled. Wait, go. Up. In conclusion, there are just simple choices that you can take at the grocery store to make your life more um, economically. Thumbs up. In conclusion, you can be a smart shopper by simply choosing the better uh, packaging for the environment. And also remember, look on the bottom of plastic things. They should, if they have a number um, and the triangle with arrows, 
it depicts the type of plastic they are. They, not that they are recycled.